In this series, we are going to use AngularJS with Laravel to create a single page gallery application. The application will be somewhat similar to what I have shown you in my previous series, but the only difference will be that the previous application was a normal Laravel app, but this one will be a single page application and it will use the goodies of AngularJS. To start with, I will be using Bower to have all my JavaScript dependencies being managed. And as you can see, I am inside my Laravel public folder and I have already created a Bower JSON file which you can easily do by running the command bower in it. It will guide you through a step-by-step -step process to create a file which is something like this. So I will go to my terminal and there I will first install AngularJS through bower. happens sometimes where the repository is not found. If you try it once or twice it generally happens. So I will come back once I have installed it. Alright, so basically after around 3-4 trials I finally managed to install Angular. Now the other modules which I will also need is angular route I'll do a save as extra parameter which means it will automatically add the dependencies in the power JSON okay so the route is installed and then I need bootstrap And I'll also need Angular cookies. Alright, so all the required libraries are now in my public Bower Components folder. And all the dependencies are added to Bower.json. So now it's time to create our master dot blade dot php which is the main template that will be used so I'll create a new blade file inside the sources views master blade dot php so I'll stop my recording get all the required files in the master template and then I will explain you how things are working. Okay, so my master.blade.php is ready. As you can see, I have first included the bootstrap CSS file and then all the three JavaScript files which is angular min.js, angular route min.js and angular cookies. Once this is done, we need to configure our gulp file. So what I will do is inside resources assets I'll create a new file inside the JavaScript folder called app.js. This is the main file where all my angular declarations routes will be placed. So let's quickly write some comments. We'll say this main file All right. I'll quickly add the Angular definition. So Angular dot module and for now let's just 
test whether the files are coming or not so I will keep it empty oh I forgot I have already included the file so I can use ng route and ng cookies okay so with this done let's return to our gulp file quickly right mix mix scripts and I'll say app dot js and I would like this to be placed inside public js slash app dot js so I'll go to my terminal and let me go to second where I'm on the root and I'll run gulp so as we can see it first compiled the SCSS then it was going into my scripts file it saved it to app.js which means inside my public folder I have JS and I have this which is kind of what I wanted so inside my angular now I can say ng app my app so the next thing which I'm going to do is create the routes quickly so that we have three pages and it's supporting views to have three angular URLs. I'll just copy paste the code so that we don't waste much time. Okay, so in my my app config, I'm using the route provider and the location provider and then I have defined three URLs. One is the slash which should give me the login page. Then it's the dashboard where the user will land up once he logs in and the logout URL. Now I have not created the controller which is user controller. So what I will do is quickly again create a new file inside resources JS and in that I will say controllers slash user controller dot js let's keep it that way and then I'll write my app dot controller user controller I'll inject dollar scope right that's it and just to make sure that you know this file is being loaded what we can do is write a new mix I'll say scripts and the file name will be sorry controller slash user controller dot js now I will try to you know kind of have different files for different pieces of the modules which is I'll have a controller dot js file which will have all the controllers from my angular app I'll have a modules file which will have all the modules so on and so forth so what I will do is I'll say this file should go in the public js folder as controllers dot js right now with that done I need to come here and again add controllers dot js go to my terminal okay now I'll do gulp it is not able to find the js file let's quickly check what is the problem this folder created I think I'm not 
the sources inside the sources I think the file is saved I have I don't know where the file is it's inside oh I got the problem this should be the control of folder should come inside assets js quickly go to terminal go inside resources I have an unwanted JS folder so I remove JS controllers to assets JS all right that's done so now I have JS inside JS I have controllers I remove the controller which is what I wanted run 12 okay inside my public I have app and I have controllers fine so quickly come here and yes all the application is loading without any problem I am able to load the controller so the routes are done now obviously to get the HTML out of the routes, I'll need to do div and I'll say ng view, right? And it is loading my login HTML. And just to make you understand that you know my templates are actually being used, let's go to login and say this is login page. This is my dashboard, and come to think of it, I don't actually require a logout.html. But anyways, just for the sake of this tutorial, logout page, right? Just hit refresh. This is my login page. I'll do dashboard. I'm going to my dashboard, and this is logout, right? So all the three routes are working. That's it for this video. In the next one, I will create the login functionality along with the rest endpoint for Laravel where we will actually check the authentication.